No, this is not my new house. Yeah, you're right. Welcome back. I survived Hurricane Francine last night. I already had a video for today, so yeah, that's why this is a little late. I spent most of my morning doing normal cleanup. Had debris in the yard, like limbs and leaves. That's it. Rolled around town to get to this point, and that's pretty much what I see limbs and leaves everywhere some limbs are bigger some are smaller it was fairly calm through the night yes it was a hurricane but it was nowhere near us not close enough to be horrendous the power did go out however i did not lose internet and with all my power my off-grid power sources i was comfortable throughout the night opened the windows the house cooled off I got some sleep. I woke up early this morning because the power kicked on. And then I w went back to sleep. Got a little more sleep. So, here we are on 23. About to cross. We're going on an adventure down the river to a spot. Let's see if those willows have fallen on the trail. See what it looks like. The willows that grow along the river here are famous for falling when you breathe on them. Come on, let's go. Fairly steady traffic all day. I think we can get across here really soon. Oh, maybe not. Here we go. But we're gonna get stuck in the middle for a second. We got it, we got it, let's go. Of course, some places in Louisiana received a lot more damage than my town did because of where they were located. Places flooded, parts of New Orleans flooded, roofs got ripped off, all, all sorts of things. I hope everyone is okay and fares well as we recover. All my animals fared well except for their nerves. My cats were fairly cool throughout the whole ordeal, but my coon hound was pacing back and forth all night had to give her lots of treats to keep her calm if you're wondering why i didn't update you throughout the night it's because you weren't following me on instagram there's a link to my ig down in the description i was active on the ig throughout the night posting letting people know i was all right and what i was enjoying Pizza with curry on top and cups of tea. That's all I did last night. Multiple cups of tea. I just entered the trail and right off the bat, you can see lots of water, lots of mud. That's to be expected. One thing you gotta understand is, even though this was a cat too, as far as flooding goes, we were set up to have some intense flooding because it'd been raining so much prior to this hurricane coming that everything was waterlogged already, right? Flooding was probably the biggest issue. I'm kind of fishtailing coming through here. So far I don't see anything massive on the trail. There was like minor flooding where I live in my town because it never really floods bad unless you're like really close to the bayou. And I don't think that got real bad. Here we are. Wow, oh, well, there is some major tree downage. I'll show you. During storms like this, hurricanes or horrendous thunderstorms, these willows always come down. I mean, you know, they don't all come down, but old and even young ones can come down. They're not really strong trees. They don't have a long lifespan. This is a fairly big one. It was kind of on its way out anyway, right? You could see from here in the back of it why it, it fell down. It was rotted right in there. So yeah. Bearing that in mind, 
when you're gonna have really, really horrendous weather, don't ever come fishing along the river during high winds before or after if you're going to be fishing in a spot like this full of willows. Like this morning, it would have been a very bad idea for me to come here. I thought about it and then I, I looked at the wind speed and I was like, nope, we're not going because it was still high winds this morning when I woke up, like 30 something, 35, which can bring a willow down easy. And then what if you're fishing right underneath that? Boom, smack. Not good. Let's get a bait out. I'm going to do a small to medium sized bait and a bigger bait. For the moment, we're going to do a body piece with this small gill. And I'm going to put that small body piece on a six aught octopus hook on a steel leader. The other rod, I need to tie a different rig on a bigger hook so we're gonna put this out to start while I am getting this one together before the storm started to come in our river was at around three something feet just a little over three feet right and then as the storm got close a surge was created and some of it came up the river and it raised our level about two, two and a half feet. We came up to a little over five feet and we're just underneath that right now dropping. Sometimes fishing is interesting before and after a hurricane. There's definitely fish here. Let's go ahead and get this bait out and see what we get. That's decent. I think we should go big. Shoot. I haven't even tied my knot yet. Oh, I planted my face on the... There. Gotcha. Feels like a cat. In case you don't know and you're wondering why I'm using steel leaders, we still have a salty river. So yeah, bull sharks are gonna be out there and that's why we're doing that. Little gaffy, sail cat, saltwater cat. Really common when the river's got a good salinity count. Really common in brackish water too. Tasty as well, that's not a very big one. We'll let it go. Here we go, headpiece, eight aught, octopus style hook. Just gonna go right into the top here. This is on a steel leader, of course. Okay, the ship right here in front of us looks like a rust bucket, don't it? And I, I do say that this one down here would qualify for that as well, but it looks a little better than that one over there. Hopefully we can get something big. Hopefully we can get outside of the gaff top zone. But we're here and it's nice. It's calm. The wind is not bad. It's a little warm. Got up into upper 80s today clouds look like they could give us rain but i don't think they will to tonight time it is time to talk about time it is 609 sunset is at 708 so we have about an hour or more i am not planning on staying here after sunset i brought no lights except for my headlamp this is going to be a quick session then might have to go do another one after this so it's all right 
if it is a quick one. Oh, look at that. That small bait is getting some love again. I don't know if we're going to get out of the gaff top zone. We need more fronts. We already had one front come down this year. It didn't do much, but it, well, it gave us some agreeable days and a lot of rain. So, yeah. I guess I'm just going to space out watching these two rods and waste away an hour. There we go. Oh, maybe, maybe you're serious. If that's a gaff top, once they start like holding tension for a while, after a couple of plucks like that, usually I can walk up and set the hook. He's giving us repetitive slack lines. It's not guaranteed that I'm gonna get a hook up here. But because it's not a giant hook and he's been around the bait for a while the hookup is possible we're just going to roll up the slack pop 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 we got got something i feel repetitive machine gun head shake so this is probably a gaff top we need a few more good fronts bring this water temp down and these gaff tops will thin out to all, just pretty much go when this water is cold they won't be here and this will be thick again it'll be like the second spring it'll be thick again with blue cats after a couple of fronts in fall we'll get the same thing just about the same thing that you get in spring your big blue cats will come up shallow again to you know to do this another round of intense feeding before winter comes so spots like this where it's not insanely deep out there in about a couple of weeks to maybe even another month right a whole month there'll be big blue cats in here just like they were in spring it's that famous second spring in louisiana in southeast louisiana anyway right now we're just we got uh the season of the hurricane mushrooms there's mushrooms all over the place right now That was about the end. <laughs> Slippery rocks. Something I've noticed that is worth mentioning, there's like almost no current this afternoon, very little. I'm using four ounces of lead and they're really not drifting, which is amazing. It's been a long time since I've fished this spot where it was like that. That old rust bucket out there looking golden right now it means we're really close to sunset well that's a beautiful image that looks nice look how pretty that the light is on the boat now we just got a massive slack line on the big bait oh my goodness i guess i gotta get off the log we will take care of that what a nice afternoon yeah you're right Still rolling up the slack line. Okay, now we're tight. Uh, yeah, something's still messing with it. I'm not thinking bull shark. I'm thinking either gaff top or a gar. But gaff top is what I really think. I don't think alligator gar. I would like it to be. Oh, they're both going off. Whoa, this one, I don't know, maybe they're both gaff top. That got me excited. Okay, we got a major, we got slack lines on both of them. Whoa, what the hell? Did we just get hit by a team? 
it was like a team effort. Let's really mess with this head on the count of three. One, two, three. Hit it all at once. Gaff top shenanigans. Well, it'd be nice if I'm wrong and, and it's like a bull shark on both. I'm just not seeing it. So one of the things I'm wondering right now as I pack up this ship over here, if you look at it, you see the anchor chain is up and down, straight up and down. It doesn't look too tight. It probably is tight. Whoa, about, about tripping over rocks. I'm wondering if the back end is in the mud. I wonder if the hurricane blew it over into the mud because that's a flat over there. He's definitely where the, it's shallow. I think he might be in the mud. Might not be, but looks like it. Very likely that this ship is in the mud. Here in a few minutes, I will be going through the mud myself, but I don't want to get stuck like that. Yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, being a member of the channel. And I will see you next time.